All right, guys, here's the video you've all been waiting for. Part three and the final part to my taillight build. In this video, we're gonna get my custom taillights fully finished up. We'll get into uh, setting up the ghost module, programming the ghost module, wiring in all the LEDs, and tying it all together. I'm excited to get these things done, so let's get into it.
All right, guys, so this is everything I've ended up with. Um, I have this little plate that basically slides in the back of the taillight, and uh, this is where I've mounted my ghost module and pigtails. I made a little clip here. Um, that is where all the wiring will go in for the 12 volt out to the LEDs. And then the ribbon cable will come in, plug in there, and then this is uh, for the vehicle inputs, which I labeled on there. So, yeah, so pretty clean, um, each of these. The covers didn't turn out amazing, but um, each of these has a cover. This one clips on and it's kind of hard to get off, but <laughs> so, uh, like this. Wow, I can't get any of these off. There we go. So I made these little, made these little clips on there and uh, cover goes on. This will be primarily for, since this is the diffused light, I'll have just like strip lighting, LED strip lighting go across in here. Um, again, since I 3D printed these all flat and then used a heat gun to mold them, like, I mean, this corner isn't perfect. This is, this is really good, but um, for the cover at least, like that corner's not perfect. I'm hoping it doesn't affect me with having the lights slightly closer to the diffuser and might like kind of show through a little bit more, but should be okay. So yeah, so that clips on there. Nicely, I'll have all the wiring come out here and then it can kind of go into the slot. I've got clips on here that clip into the, uh, into the factory slots and it's just a clean install and wire in. So same thing here. This one screws in from the back. It actually lines up with this middle piece in there and then uh, screws into those holes. So it'll basically be like that in the tail light. And then the front one just uh, screws into these upper holes. So yeah, pretty happy with how they've come out. Let's wire them up. Okay, so before I continue soldering on the reverse lights, I think I'm gonna pull the car out, throw some cardboard down, and then we'll spray spray these uh, spray the tail light inner piece um, black, so that that can dry up and cure up and everything while we continue soldering. So let's pull the car out. So this wiring is taking me substantially longer than I expected it to. Um, 
Mostly, I think, just because I'm pretty slow. But I'm kind of... I'm running wires to everything that's on a separate channel. So there's one power coming in that supplies 12 volt to everything. And then since this is the signal, I wanted each individual pair um, to be on its own channel. So I'm wiring up each channel that'll run back to the ghost module and then it'll be able to individually control each one of these vertical pairs so yeah so i've done about half and uh i'll keep going with the rest and then once that's done then the cover can kind of go on there uh, i'm putting some uh some of this goop stuff down just to uh, hold wiring and everything in place um, once it's in there and then these covers will cover it nicely up the wiring comes out the one little hole and yeah my reverse lights are gonna be crazy bright which is honestly what I wanted so that's good and then uh, yeah so got that all wired up um, as you would have seen let me just pull this off. So, wired up all the reverse lights there. And then mounted in the backing plate is the, the red strips for the, uh, for the brake light and parking lights. Because those need to be mounted there so that they stay at a specific distance from the diffused um, pieces just so that they turn out nice so overall coming out good just still very slow Alright, so I just kind of took the heat gun, went over this, kind of heated it up a little bit to soften up the adhesive that was still on there. And I didn't fully clean it up. I'm still going to give it a little wipe down because there's actually like some dirt and crap on here. Um, but mostly I just used the flat blade screwdriver, gently kind of removed any major like blobs of that old adhesive. Just to kind of get it flat as, I, as flat as I can and smooth it out. Um, to leave some good surface area for the new adhesive so um yeah so i'm just going to clean it up a little bit and then we'll throw on some butyl tape and try and re-stick this to the tail light i'm going to try and give the lens a quick little uh polish here just with this plastics polish 
also, see if I can clean it up a little bit. The thing that sucks is that these lenses have cracks in them. It's hard to show in the camera, but there's a bunch of cracking there. And for that reason alone, I've been contemplating a lot, like if I was going to use this lens or not, as I mentioned earlier in the video, but I think I am. It's just going to give it a little bit more of a clean, like OEM look. I feel like if I don't use it, it kind of just looks a little bit more rice and it looks good on a lot of cars, but I feel like for this car, I think I'm going to go for the more OEM plus look. So I'm going to use that inner lens. It'll help kind of cover up some of those cracks and we'll go from there. So let's, uh, let's try and give this a little bit of a polish. That looks freaking amazing. <laughs> and I'll be honest, I didn't put much effort into this. I polished for like maybe five minutes with this, with that stuff I showed. This Meguiar's plastics, clear plastic cleaner and polish. And uh, yeah, that looks amazing. Right on. Let's get it on.